This is how to make a DayZ server for PC. Really easy, really simple. I'll show you how to add mods and I'll show you what mods to avoid. So you go to gtxgaming.co.uk. The link will be in the description. This is not a sponsored video. This is just the one I use because it's easy and time is precious so don't spend seven hours trying to add a mod painstakingly just go to gtx gaming you scroll down daisy standalone 12.99 order they start from 12.99 it's for a 10 slot server that's all you need for you and your mates order now when you've ordered it it will give you a password and then you log into here into your game panel for GTX. I'll quickly show you a couple of things. It's pretty simple. This is the easiest, most straightforward way of making a server. You all want to be an admin, you all want to make your own server. So I'll show you how to do that. Configuration files. The only ones you really need to ever touch is this config CFG in here. It's config editor. You change the name to your server. If you want to add a password, you add a password. Add a message of a day. Why not? Respawn time. Five seconds. Daytime. Acceleration, nighttime acceleration, make it dark or bright at night, max ping. Mission template, this is another video really on how to add a custom map. I'll make another video one day. You save and exit after you've done your settings. The server must be stopped when you do this. If you do the server while it's on, you change this while it's on and save while it's on. It might not do it. Here in messages, config editor. You can change them to whatever you want in however many time you want. Pretty and simple. Mod manager. When you first open your thing you need to go to here you need to go to tools you need to install dzsa launcher mine's already installed but you just click the button install done file manager this is where your mods go every time you download a mod you need to go there they normally have the information of the mod instructions or pb uh types xml file or whatever else they have in there all to do with the mods you've installed here is missions this is obviously the missions there's plenty of videos on youtube on how to do types xml if you don't know how to do simple things like types xml files then Good luck, because you're going to need it. Like I say, there's plenty of videos from uh, plenty of other YouTubers on that matter. Um, Don Sibley is a really good one. Yeah. Um, so just check out Don Sibley's video or something on how to do types, XMLs and events and all that jazz. The other thing you're going to need here is keys. When you download a mod, if it's a public mod and it's free, it will come with a key. You don't need to do nothing, it will do it by itself. But if you buy a private mod off someone and they send you their private key, you will need to upload it here. You'd upload the key that you got sent. It will upload it here. 
because a private mod won't work without the key. Any mod won't work without the key. So, you need the keys. Logs, it just shows you all the logs. You'll have to figure all this stuff out yourself. Just click on them and read them. They're all pretty much self explanatory. I'm going to show you how to add a mod because everyone must think it's hard to add a mod. And it's a piece of piss. Literally, click here Steam Workshop. With GTX Gaming, it's so easy. You find a mod you want. There's hundreds of good mods. Things like this, stay away from. They're stolen cars, don't use them. Things like this are good. It's all free. Free, lovely, all free mods, like they should be. Some mods are worth paying for. Some are not. That decision is up to you. So yeah, you click install, so you can click details, have a look at the mod, see what it's about. This one has got loads of nice melee weapons, lovely, really nice. So if you like that mod, it'll tell you all about it, and half of them will be Russian, half of them will be English, G German or whatever. <coughs> It makes no difference where it's from. You just click install. And then to see if the mod's working after you've installed it, you go to here. And this will sync it. It will come up green. And everything's A-OK, -okay, Rodney. Go ahead, join your server and play it. If it comes up red here, it means that one of your mods doesn't like another mod. And it won't work. The best thing to do is install one mod at a time. And then check it. I'll show you my mods. When you make any server, the first thing you install is CF Community Framework. You need this. And then normally you'd... You'd add Trader and Banking if you want Trader and Banking. There's loads of good mods. Just pick what you want and add it. Every mod's different. Lots of mods clash with other mods. Some mods don't work. Some mods are given up on and the creator has given up and they no longer work. Um, some mods are paid for. Some mods just ain't worth using so do a bit of research don't just add any old trash because your crap probably won't work and yeah have a play about see what you can do there's lots to learn it's not a straightforward simple process to learn there's lots to it um it can take many months to learn how to make a server correctly so good luck and hopefully you make another server for Daisy and I hope for you that it will get populated and you have fun. So have a good day. See you all another time. Peace.